All right, guys, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to give you a closer look at the Smith & Wesson 627. As you would expect from the Performance Center, a very well-made revolver. Solid stainless steel frame and cylinder with a matte finish. You have an adjustable rear sight. It's advertised as having a white outlined U-shaped rear sight. Mine came with this V-notch on the rear. Front sight is a dovetailed red ramp. You have an oversized, nicely checkered hammer in the back if you want to shoot in single action. There are three versions, one in 41 Magnum and 44 Magnum, which are both six shooters. I opted for the 8-shot cylinder of the 357, which is also cut for full moon clips. The trigger, real smooth, single action, around four pounds. Double action is great as well, with no over-travel whatsoever. Heavy gun, a very loud gun and a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. The original grips are these walnut checkered grips. Gives you a two finger grip on the gun. I prefer to have a full grip when I'm shooting big bore heavy revolvers. So I went with another set of Kim Aaron's grips, which are my preference for large frame revolvers. As far as the purpose of this handgun, I think it makes a great truck gun. Makes a good gun for home defense. If you want to carry it, you got to realize that it's an end frame, it's bulky, it's heavy. Get a good holster, get a good belt. My Bob Mernicle holster keeps the gun high and tight and really helps distribute the weight. Excellent revolver overall. I would not use it for hunting purposes. There is no barrel restriction in our state, so you could, and the 357 is more than adequate. But with the short sight radius, and the slight loss in velocity of the 357 shot from a two and three quarter inch barrel it might not be the ideal hunting handgun um, as far as velocity loss uh, some people would have you believe there's a huge loss there really isn't it depends on the round slower burning propellants you'll have a greater loss but most standard 357 rounds there's not a huge loss i carry the 140 gram buffalo bore Round. It's designed specifically for short barrel. It's low flash, lead free, travels at over 1100 FPS. Excellent round for carrying in the 357 snub nose big bore revolver. Anyway, guys, y'all have a great night, and I'll talk to y'all later.